still. Welcome to Fish Creek Pond. A few black flies, there were a lot earlier. Um, the kayak is coated with them from the highway. <laughs> um, but they're, they're down a lot now. There's just a few buzzing around, not even buzzing. They don't buzz, they just kind of float. Tiny, like gnats. <clears throat> so I'm gonna set things up and get uh, camp ready for night mode. And uh, we'll check back in and get a little dinner going. Okay, we're just uh, boiling some water. I'm gonna throw some ramen in there. And I had actually pre-made a really nice batch of carnitas, um, which I was gonna make some tacos with, shred it up. But I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'm just gonna throw that, chop it up a few pieces, throw it into the ramen, and finish off the spinach. And that'll be my quick dinner, because it's, uh, it's already past eight o'clock and it actually looks lighter in the camera than it is here on Fish Creek Pond. Magic powder. Honestly, without the magic powder, ramen is nothing. Throw in a bit more greenery. I was slacking in the food prep, other than the making the carnitas, which I just, I guess, was obsessed with. Ramen's gotten a little cold. But I just had a nice chat with my neighboring camper. He's packing up and leaving tomorrow. So he brought over his leftover firewood, which is really nice. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and seeing what the day brings. I've got a little adventure planned. And I hope you guys come on along. Okay, it is cold out, <laughs> away from the fire. I think it's time to go upstairs, get in the sleeping bag. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Already starting to see a couple of bugs right there. The last of the spinach. That's so 
almost an omelet. I'm going to add just a bit of corn and bean salsa. Why not, right? It's pretty colorful. That's good. Let's fold it over and uh, see how it goes. There you go. Breakfast is served. Okay, I've temporarily broken down camp uh, to get the Jeep back on the road um, so I can register for this site since I came in so late last night. Um, no one was at the office. And then I'm going to um, go visit uh, Bracket River Outfitters, um, which I'm really interested to see and I hope you guys will be interested to check it out with me. Um, they uh, outfit canoe adventures and rent canoes. Um, they'll guide you. Um, it's just this incre incredible gateway to paddling in the Adirondacks. Um, but uh, I need to get a, a PFD so I can safely do this paddle um, adventure today. And before the day gets on too much further, uh, let's get going. I came up here, I'm over at Fish Creek, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm camping, I want to go out kayaking, yep. do an overnight, I forgot a PFD, oh, okay. so I thought I would stop by and maybe I could rent one or sure. buy one here, yeah. oh, that'd be awesome. Wow. <laughs> it's funny, I was expecting a bigger place for all the business that goes through here, but this is amazing. You cram it all in somehow. So you're looking to rent a PFD? Uh, I probably that's the best bet for me. If I could rent one, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Did you already own one? Yep. Did you call yesterday? I did. About, yes. Hey, that's that you. I, thank you so much for that information. Oh, I didn't no go out yesterday because I got in late, but I'm gonna go out today. Yeah. Cool. I also wasn't sure you'd be open today because a lot of places are. Nice. Yeah. Every day, nine to five. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Until November. Until November. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then we. Right. Then it kind of drops off. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Okay. Uh, should I try it on just to be safe? Oh, it's a universal. Do you have any questions about where you're going at all? I have a big map on the wall. Uh, no, I know. I've been looking at Gaia GPS okay. and, um, you know, it's either going to be Fallensby or Floodwood. Mm -hmm. And I think I, if I can just get up Fish Creek without getting stuck, I'll you probably... You should be able yeah. to. Um, I, that, it's so cool in there. Yeah. We ski through there in the wintertime. We paddle through there, especially now before it gets crazy in the summer. Yeah. It's that's a really pretty creek. I mean, it's yeah. just cool to be going through all those ponds. Okay. And wow. little creek, so. That's that's exciting. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Well, thanks, Ian. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good one. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay. All righty. PFD secured. Let's head back to base camp and get that canoe loaded up. We are leaving the mothership. You can see how tippy the kayak is. <laughs> I am keeping my balance. This was a, uh, a 
questionable proposal. But I thought it would be possible, and so far I have not rolled into the water. So I'm just taking it slow and steady. out this big old beaver dam. What do we got here? We got a tree down. Uh-oh. Has the creek been down? Oh no. What the heck? We're in the right spot. No, we're off in the weeds here. This is not right. We want to go that way, all the way back where that white sign is. Just a beautiful little stretch of Fish Creek. Of course, as soon as I stop paddling to film, the wind blows me right back, going right back to my campsite 116. But man, it's just, just pretty, very pretty. We're entering Caparis Pond, and I think I'm gonna look for a campsite here. It's getting to be about that time. Okay, I just paddled into the first campsite on Little Square Pond. Um, I checked out Copera Pond. They had two sites. They were horrible. Uh, there was no shoreline. You had to scramble vertically and walk a good distance through brambles to get to them. So this has like perfect little clearing, fairly level, and it's just a short walk uphill here to firing some log benches very level uh, so this is going to work great the tent got a little wet too but if i set it up now uh, maybe it'll have a chance to dry out Check out this poor road NTG. Oh man, the whole thing was submerged. So I'm glad it wasn't anything worse, worse than this. Okay, so what did I bring? In this small dry bag, I have a camping knife, air spray, Goal Zero power station, a book to read, a little packing case, which has camera grip equipment in it. So this has like clamps and um, camera mounts and some uh, work gloves and some cordage. And then uh, the rest of the stuff in this bag is a uh, saw, a water filter system, a reading light for said book, rain gear, and no pun intended, a crap load of venture wipes. In this bag, the medium size bag, my down jacket, a uh, CDS first aid kit, my thermos, a mallet, uh, basically toilet kit and um, a fork and a can opener 
a uh, fire maple uh, pot and saucer. And inside this is a little uh, camping stove and some butane. The flies are out, man. And then uh, at the bottom of this, we have a uh, camping chair. This is uh, the pad for the sleeping bag. It's climate, butane lighter, more kitchen stuff. Whoa, right into the eye, man. That was a kamikaze. Some uh, waterproof matches. And then this huge one, which has been, I think, what has destabilized my whole kayak rig. I'm not gonna pull everything out, but um, my real hiking boots, some uh, lined uh, lightweight hiking pants in case it gets super cold tonight, a uh, gorilla pod, one pillow. I have two pillows. I don't want to compromise on uh, pillowage, <laughs> so this should be super comfortable. This is the wacky thing. I brought both of my uh, Sony cameras in this smaller bag instead of the, lar the large bag I usually bring. Um, so yeah, they're both in here with ex some accessories, but this weighs a ton and I, they were in a dry bag and it looks like it stayed dry in there, so that's good. I think this is a quilt and a compression bag. And in the kayak, I have um, a sleeping bag and a compression bag, a medium size. And then I'm probably not gonna use it, but that's the, uh, the DJI Air 2S, but I don't wanna bother. There's people in the next campsite down. I can see them practically, so I don't think I'm gonna put this up. Finally, food. This is uh, like a day and a night, like a dinner and a breakfast, and maybe a few couple of snacky things. So that's it. Is this overkill for one night? Yeah, you're damn right it is. Um, also, I'm an old dude, so I err on the side of maximal comfort in these situations. It's cool. It's like you've got your base camp, and then <laughs> this is we're off in the wild. <laughs> I'm not really um, an outdoorsman, a hardcore outdoorsman. I'm just a dude from Westchester County, New York, who, um, you know, just wanted to branch out of like the suburban box a little bit and uh, and have some adventures. Whoever's watching me, like, if you're getting something out of it, great. Um, if it's entertaining, great. Um, if you see me doing something crazily stupid or something I could do better, I'd love to hear from you. I've already had a few exchanges with people who've watched my videos and um, it's all just a learning experience. And to these flies, it's the dinner bell has rung. So I'm gonna try to get a fire going. Nice to get these wet water shoes off. I'll let these guys do a little drying here. Hopefully they won't melt. All right, we just started the water boiling for our chicken Alfredo and dang, it's like in one minute, it's boiling. Oh, all right, I give up. No fork. Closest thing I've got is <laughs> a backpacking trowel. Never used. Well, it's been a long but a fun and tiring day, guys. And um, as the twilight descends, I'm going to turn in. Um, but I have an appropriate uh, passage from Mother of God by Paul Rosalie, which is about his experiences living um, alone in the Amazon jungle. I lay in my hammock looking up as darkness consumed the jungle. Lightning in the low clouds flashed emerald green through the leaves. 
I don't know how or when, but eventually the long, torturous hours of blackness morphed into unconsciousness. For a time, there was peacefully nothing, but then, prompted by some dread instinct, I awoke to a nightmare. I wanted to call out, where the hell am I? Then, as my mind slowly booted up, I remembered, oh yeah, the Amazon, alone, except I wasn't alone. Something was nearby, something big. I could hear breathing. I shut my eyes, heartbeats shook my chest, and my blood rushed audibly. I had no thoughts, only blind terror. My nostrils filled with a pungent odor as my hand instinctively went toward my headlamp, making a small noise against the hammock fabric. A growl erupted from the darkness. Warm breath fell on my neck. I was helpless and prayed that whatever happened next would be over quickly. To a jaguar, dispatching a human wrapped in his hammock would translate roughly to you or me peeling a banana. She sniffed and drew nearer, exhaling another furnace draft onto my neck. For a small eternity, she was silent, standing invisibly beside me, incredibly close. All right, great stuff. I recommend it. Paul Rosalie, Mother of God. And uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It's another beautiful, cool morning here in uh, the Adirondacks, and uh, I slept pretty well once I got to sleep. Uh, so I think it got a little colder last night. Um, probably, yeah, it felt like 30s again, low 30s. Um, but a, a couple of uh, sleeping bags I had, the quilt and the sleeping bag, it's all good. The sleeping system was great, it was very comfortable. The mattress stayed inflated, uh, so no complaints there. Coffee is uh, this instant coffee <clears throat> I found online. It's not a plug, uh, it's not a promotion. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna try it. And the other report is, uh, yeah, the water shoes became the uh, second casualty of this guy making trip. A little too close to the fire there. my trowel. I broke the yolks, they firmed up a bit. Um, I don't know, it looks good. I'm looking forward to eating it. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and then uh, pack up because I, it's Monday and uh, I have to head back to uh, New York and get 
get the work week on. So um, I'll eat this and um, check in a little bit later. <laughs> Well, getting everything staged uh, so I can get ready to leave. And I uh, just gotta take down the tent and douse the fire before we uh, leave this fantastic lakeside campsite at Little Square Pond in upstate New York in Adirondack Park. Okay guys, uh, my neck's killing me. Oh, old man paddling problems. Um, but the wind really picked up. I'm back on Fish Creek Pond. Um, I'm not, I still got a little ways to get around um, to where my site is, but I don't want to paddle anymore. I couldn't have landed at a more distant point to, to campsite 116, but I'm done paddling. You, you, my luck has held out so far, but I don't want to push it. Awesome. The awning's still up. Okay, kayak secured. Let's go return that PFD down at Dracker River and grab some lunch. I'm beat. <laughs> uh, I'm about two hours south having dinner at uh, Monte Carlo in uh, Lake George and I uh, hope you enjoy this little adventure in the Adirondacks. Um, there's so much to explore up there and I'd love for you to come along next time we go out on an adventure.